Welcome to the McGregor Fence Video Guide to Installing Deer Fence Posts. This video covers installing round metal posts without drive sleeves. If you are interested in learning more about installing other types of posts, please see our videos for those installations. These types of posts include angle iron posts, round posts with drive sleeves, wooden posts, and using trees as posts. Before installing your posts, it is important to select the appropriate tools and accessories needed for your job. The tools and accessories needed for installing round metal posts without drive sleeves include the post itself, its decorative cap, a brace band with the brace band's nut and bolt, a short step ladder, a manual post driver, an optional digging bar, a carpenter's level, a small wrench, and some scotch tape. Please note that you will probably want to put some of your posts into cement footings. This video does not cover cement footings, and if you'd like to learn more about them, please see our other video titled, Installing Cement Footings. Begin by placing a piece of tape at your desired insertion depth. If your fence is a standard 7 feet tall, and you have 9 foot posts, then place your tape 2 feet up them. If you have 10 foot posts, place it 3 feet up them. This tape serves as an indicator for when your posts are at the right depth and will save you a lot of time when driving them in. If you have decided to use a pry bar, place a piece of tape at the same length as the one you put on your post. This will tell you when the hole you have dug is deep enough for your post to be inserted into. Use the pry bar by stabbing it into the ground and then making a few tight circles as if you are stirring a giant pot of soup. Once you have made a few circles, push the bar down to the next level and make a few more circles. Repeat this process until the tape marked on your pry bar reaches the ground. If you hit a rock that the bar cannot push to the side, simply make a new hole close to the original. This is much more favorable than driving the post halfway in only to discover this rock impeding your progress. If you used a pry bar, you now have a convenient hole in which to stand up your post. Place your stepladder next to the upright post and ascend it while holding your manual post driver. Once you have the driver resting atop your post, lift it up and bring it down in a swift, solid motion. Drive the post about a foot into the ground and then stop. Driving in a post without a pre-made hole is a little bit more challenging. The best strategy is to place the driver atop the post before standing it up. Then, ascend the ladder and move the post into the desired position. Make sure the post seems straight before using the post driver. Drive the post about a foot into the ground and then stop. Now is a good chance to use your carpenter's level to ensure that your post is standing up straight. Once you have confirmed that your post is indeed straight, continue using the manual post driver. Keep a keen eye on the tape while you are driving the post in. When the tape touches the ground, you have reached your desired insertion depth, and your post should be standing solidly. Next, take a brace band and remove its bolt. Slip it over the top of the post and pull it down snugly. Every post you put up should have one brace band. They are used for stringing top wire, hanging fencing materials, and are part of the earth anchor bracing system. Next, place a cap on the top of your post. These caps are mainly decorative, but will also prevent water and debris from building up inside your post. Sometimes, the cap will not snap on easily by hand. In this case, use a hammer and a piece of wood to gently knock the cap into place. The decorative caps no longer come included with the posts and have been replaced by these plastic insert caps. 
The decorative caps are still available for purchase on the website a la carte. Once the cap is fit on snugly, adjust the brace band so its flanges are pointing in the proper direction. For line posts, they should be pointing straight out towards the deer, and on corner posts should be angled out at 135 degrees. Now fetch the nut and bolt which came with your brace band and loosely attach them so that they will not fall off. Slide the brace band up so that it sits just underneath your decorative cap. Tighten the nut as much as you can with your bare hands. When you can tighten it no further by hand, fetch your adjustable wrench and tighten it the rest of the way. It must be tight to prevent the band from slipping down. The band must be able to support the weight of the fence as well as potential snow loads and fallen branches. Congratulations! You have now successfully put your post into the ground. Now we need to give the posts extra support at corners, gates, and ends. You can now move on to the next step of installation which is installing your earth anchors.